Weather, Weather Center here in Cleveland, Ohio with your Northeast Ohio forecast. I know we are days away from the holiday and we're tracking cold and snow. No exception today. We've got some light snow showers and flurries around. Uh, they'll continue throughout the remainder of the weekend and we're definitely colder than what we've been used to. Lake effect snow expected to set up uh, out east tonight and we could have parts of Lake and Ashtabula County with accumulation of two to upwards of six inches. I'll uh, detail it coming up in just a little bit, but an Arctic blast around Christmas and when I say Arctic blast, uh, probably the coldest air that we've had in Christmas time um, around two decades ago. So this is going to be a cold Christmas. All right, so here's a look at your forecast today. We've got temperatures generally in the low 30s. When you factor in the wind, it's going to feel more like the low and mid 20s throughout the day. And of course, there's going to be on and off scattered snow showers at times. All right, so looking at Storm Fox right now, we're getting some scattered snow showers across our area right now, mainly east and south. And at times it's coming down at a moderate clip. We're seeing some bursts of moderate snow in and around uh, Carroll and also Columbiana County. So looking ahead here as we widen out the view, the colder air is still locked uh, more towards the north and west. Minneapolis Cedar Rapids checking in at 18, 19 degrees where we're sitting at 30. Of course, those scattered light snow showers and flurries around through the remainder of the weekend. So let's go ahead and take you hour by hour here as we go through the day today. We've got temperatures low 30s. This is your forecast at 1.30 this afternoon. You're tailgating, you're gonna definitely need to bundle up. Now looking ahead here this evening, upper 20s, and we're gonna be watching as that lake effect snow band sets up over the lake and then eventually sneaks on in. I'm going to highlight that in just a second, but let's get through the rest of the forecast for the remainder of the area because it's only going to affect a small portion. Tomorrow morning, temperatures were in the mid 20s out the door. Uh, we've got lots of clouds around and still a few flurries flying throughout the day on Sunday. It's going to be a struggle to reach 30 in the afternoon. And then again, another cold one comes Sunday night into Monday morning. Actual air temperatures will dip down into the teens. So let's zero in on our future cast for that lake effect snow band. I'm starting the clock here just before midnight. That's when I expect that snow band to start to move to the south and drift in. So Lake and Northern Ashtabula County, the area that I'm watching is that I-90 corridor and north and even like slivers of uh, northeastern Cuyahoga County could get into some of this action here tomorrow morning. So if you have plans to travel along I-90 tonight or tomorrow morning east, uh, we can run into some lower visibility, some heavy snow at times, and that's going to continue through much of the morning on Sunday. We'll get a break in the afternoon, but I expect it to redevelop in and around Ashtabula County, northern Ashtabula, come Sunday night into early Monday morning before winding down. So as far as how much snow we're going to get today, uh, looking at a dusting on the ground in some spots. Tonight, there will be scattered snow showers around for the majority of our area. Dusting to an inch possible. You can see the pockets of that inch mark anywhere shaded in purple. Now I want to zoom in on our snow belt communities out in Lake and Ashtabula County where that front will linger. There will be areas that will get over six inches of snow. I'm going to say that right off the bat. Uh, general amounts will be between that three to six inch range. Uh, anywhere you see that orangey color, you head more south, we're going to get lesser amounts. So one to three inches, Kirtland, Thompson, uh, Chardon, Munson and Auburn up to an inch, Mayfield Heights and Euclid where you could get uh, clipped by part of that, you could get upwards of around an inch as well. So there's a look at your lake effect snow forecast. Now let's talk about Christmas time. Here's our typical, well, not typical. These are our extremes for our Christmases. Now, we, warmest was set back in 1982 at 66 degrees. The coldest, it got to negative 10 in 1983. The most snow on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. On 2002, we picked up just over 11 inches, nine and a half inches in 2020. And the most snow on the ground that we received 
Christmas time, 20 inches. That was back in 1950. Now, you know what? I think we have a shot at possibly seeing the amount of snow on the ground of 2020 this year. So we're looking at the potential for over a half a foot of snow in our area around the Buckeye State. And here's the reason why. We've got the colder air that's going to be pushing into our region. This is the two punch here. On Thursday, likely a wintry mix to start changing over to snow, and it's going to encompass the whole entire Buckeye State. Now, that moves out Friday afternoon. We get some lake effect snow setting up here Friday night into early Saturday. Then we'll be tracking another system Saturday evening. So that's Christmas Eve going through the night and into Christmas Day. We'll likely have snow around throughout the area. And of course, it's going to encompass all the Buckeye states. So how much snow are we going to get? That's the question. It all depends on the path of this, but we definitely have the cold air uh, to support significant snow in parts of our area. I think the most snow will be found in the northeast, uh, but we could possibly have over a half a foot of snow on the ground by Christmas morning. Of course, we're going to fine tune the forecast for you, but right now it's looking more and more likely that we're going to get several inches of snow. So flurries around this weekend, scattered light snow showers, low 30s. We get a break Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, just lots of clouds sticking around. Temperatures generally in the mid and upper 30s. That's why by Thursday we could have a wintry mix to start with this system, and then our temperatures are going to plummet. Look at this Arctic air moving in. Highs on Christmas Eve won't even reach 20. You're going to factor in the wind, and we will have some sub-zero wind chills in store for us. So that's something that we're going to be highlighting all week long and, of course, fine-tuning that snow and the snowstorm forecast uh, in the week ahead. Still too early, so we're just focusing on the lake effect snow tonight. All right, I'm sure I will talk with you again tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful weekend.